Last hitting is so important for any game of Dota and games are literally won or lost from good or bad last hitting. So by the end of this video, you'll know what last hitting is, how to do it, and I'll also give you some tips and strategies to dramatically up your skill. Once you start improving your last hitting, there is no doubt that you will gain MMR as I'd probably argue that this is the most important game mechanic, as it is directly linked to gold, and gold is connected to your items, and better items kill your enemies faster, and when your enemies are dead you can push towers! Anyway, guys don't forget to smash that like button, although not too hard because I don't want you to literally smash it, just like, like, I don't know, push it or whatever, and subscribe! Alright, so last hitting, what is it and why is it important? Well, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there were three ancients. Yes, three with two of the ancients being imprisoned by the third. Some years later, some things happened, and then there was the Radiant Ancient and the Dire Ancient. These ancients fought each other, not by their own doing, but rather through controlling other units, which we know as creeps. Every 30 seconds, these creeps are sent out from each side to fight to the death in an attempt to reach and destroy the opposing ancient. Now, for some reason, the ancients also sent gold along with these creeps, or, or maybe they just had it on them before, what, whatever. The creeps have gold. Now you, as a hero, can extract this gold by killing these creeps. The final blow that lands on a creep that extracts this gold is called the last hit, and thus the story of last hitting is told. Now why is this important? Well, there are a few reasons actually. The first one is that you get gold. More gold means more items. The more items you have, the stronger you are. The second thing is that you get experience. More experience means more levels. More levels means you're stronger. And now this is where things get exciting. You can actually murder your own creeps. What? Yep, true story. This is called a deny. Why would I kill my own creeps, you might ask? Good question. Simply put, last hitting your own creeps gives you a little bit of gold, stops your enemies from getting gold, and also reduces the amount of experience that your enemy gets. Amazing, I know. Let's do a little maths, starting with the gold from the creeps. A single melee creep gives between 32 and 38 gold, while the ranged creep gives anywhere between 48 and 58 gold. So at the start of a game, a whole wave is worth about 158 gold. If you deny your creeps, you get 20% of that bounty, which is about 8 gold on average per deny. Now in terms of experience, every single deny takes 60% of the experience the enemy would get away. This means if you get every single deny, you could level up almost three times faster than your enemy. Well, that's crazy. Now I don't think many people really understand how powerful denying can be, and don't put enough emphasis on it. It seems a lot of people focus on trying to kill the enemy, which you know makes sense, but a lot of the time, they should be focused on trying to get a last hit or a deny, rather than going for a kill, which would cause them to miss many last hits and many denies, so sometimes it's actually better not to get kills and just keep farming. Also, just remember that the ranged creep is worth quite a lot more than the melee creeps, so make sure you place extra emphasis on getting the denies and the last hits for these creeps especially. Now, last hitting does sound easy, and here's a quick little step-by-step -step showing how simple it really is. Alright, let's give it a shot. I go as bid. As I will. Yeah, so maybe there is a little bit more to it than just attacking and profit. Getting the timing just right can be hard, especially when fighting under the tower, which does a lot of damage to creeps compared to you, especially in the early game. Not only this, but each hero has different attack animations, projectile speeds, attack speeds, and all of these things add up. Your distance from the creep can also play quite an important part, especially if you're a ranged hero. Obviously, the closer you are, the faster your projectile will hit the creep. Now, all of these things take practice to learn, and one of the simplest ways to practice is to go into the last hitting trainer in the game itself. Try to get every single last hit and every single deny, and try it with different heroes as well, so that you get used to a few of the different ones. Maybe use your favourite heroes to start with so that you get used to them and you're a little bit better with them when you play an actual game. Now, some of the heroes do have crappy attack animations, but it just takes a little bit of time to learn how to use them and how to time it a bit better. After you've gotten better at doing it by yourself, try it with a partner. 
challenge them to a mid only 1v1 and try to get every single last hit and every single deny. The dynamics change a little bit as you're both contesting for the same creeps compared to when you're just practicing by yourself, and you're also trying not to die at the same time. 1v1 lasting is definitely a lot harder but it's more realistic and really good for practice. Now if you're having a tough time last hitting or your enemy is getting more last hits than you, you need to find a way to improve your damage output. For melee heroes, buying a Quelling Blade is probably the best way to go as you get quite a large damage increase for the price that you pay. The other way that you can increase your damage is through stat items which boost your primary attribute. Early game, the best items for this are Wraith Bands, Braces and Null Talismans. Also, if you're building into Phase Boots, you could get the Blades of Attack early which will help as well because they give you an extra 9 damage. Now if boosting your damage doesn't help or if you just can't get enough damage and you're still getting out last hit, then you gotta start spending your mana to get last hits. And actually you should be doing this anyway because getting last hits early is so important. If you can't get the last hit because the tower is doing lots of damage, or your timing might be off, or the enemy might get a deny, just use your mana and cast your spells to get the last hit, as not many other things are more important than this early game. You'll get the gold and you'll get the experience, and this will help you level up faster, get your items faster, and you should have a better chance of winning because of it. Now most people don't really think about their settings when they're last hitting, but there are some settings that you can change which might help with your last hitting. Not directly, but they will help you reduce the amount of misclicks you might make. Now the first one is to turn off right click to force attack. I used to use this all the time, but I switched it off in favour for A clicking, which is basically pressing A then clicking on the unit that you want to attack. Now the main reason for this was to prevent me moving forwards when I misclick, and instead of issuing an attack order, I issue a move order. Moving when you don't want to is bad, and it can get you killed, or worse, you could miss a last hit. The second one is to turn Smart Attack Move on. This one also helps with misclicking as when you A click but miss, you will automatically attack the nearest creep to your cursor. This is super useful and you basically gain 500 MMR just using this because you and whoever else watches this video are the only ones who will do it. Another option I tick is Toggle Auto Attack Automatically. Now this is controversial and pretty much everyone is like, no don't use auto attack, auto attack's bad. But that's not always true. I selectively use auto attack and the only reason is so that I can fake out enemy attacks more easily. When you're about to last hit a creep, you can spam S to make it look like you're going to attack, but then just stopping the animation before you actually hit the creep. This fakes out the enemy and makes it a lot harder for them to work out when you're actually going to attack the creep for the last hit, making it harder for them to get the last hit or deny. Now my last tip here is more advanced, but it's super important at high levels to get your last hits and denies. And one way you can do this is by tricking your enemy into attempting a last hit which will not kill the creep. Now I briefly touched on this before, but there are a number of ways that you can do this, such as faking out an attack on the creep, but you can also manipulate the creeps by drawing aggro. When your creeps get low, issue an attack order on the enemy, drawing creep aggro to yourself. This causes the enemy creeps to stop attacking your creeps, thus stopping the damage. Now if your enemy is getting ready to last hit, they won't expect the damage to the creeps to suddenly stop, so they will attempt to last hit. When their attack lands, it won't get the last hit but should leave it at about one hit, giving you an easy deny. Thanks for watching everyone and I hope this has helped you out. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more. I'm still just starting out this channel guys, so please let me know in the comments if these videos are helpful and good. I'm also keen to hear your suggestions on improvements I can make to the videos or ideas on other videos that you might want to see. I want these videos to be the best that they can be and to help you guys as much as possible, so please let me know. Awesome, thanks for watching. I'm Blake Unlively and happy gaming.